and I hope that we will be helping to uh, shape you with values that will help to uh, build uh, an ever greater uh, civilization in China during the 21st century. Uh, you've come to a university in Oxford which is of course physically, geographically uh, part of the United Kingdom. You can tell that by the weather for uh, most of the year. These balmy Mediterranean uh, days that you enjoy uh, in, uh, uh, in Oxford. But while we're geographically um, part of the United Kingdom, uh, Oxford is really a world university. It's a university which is world class and a university which has produced scholars who have helped the world to be a better place. From uh, Erasmus and Hooker and Halley to Tim Berners-Lee in more recent times. We've had a great tradition of uh, training, educating uh, political leaders in this country. Uh, this is the 26th Oxford Prime Minister. Some have been rather better than others. <laughs> <laughs> and we um, educated 30 leaders of other countries, like President Clinton, who was uh, here a few years ago, or Mrs. Gundy. Manmohan Singh, who is the Prime Minister of India today. And doubtless tomorrow, China's first female president. <laughs> um, we need somebody who's as interested in food as I am. <laughs> from uh, uh, Rhodes House uh, down to the Sheldonian and on the Broad and almost every building you come to has been uh, tangled up, interwoven with important events in British history. And yet, as I said, we're a university for the world um, and that's exemplified by the balance of the scholars who are here. And we represent, today I think it's 145 different countries. Um, about 40% of our academic staff are from other countries. A third of our undergraduates and postgraduates are from other countries. 60% uh, of uh, our postgraduates are British, but 40% are from elsewhere. No, it's the other way around. It's 40% from Britain and 60% uh, from elsewhere. And among the students from other countries, China is prominent. Uh, China provides the third largest country group for our undergraduates and the second largest for postgraduates. Or is it the other way? No, it's the other way around. <laughs> Nick, Nick knows all these figures. I'm um, not better than um, Yeah, well, we, we have China is the second largest uh, group of undergraduates and the third largest um, of postgraduates. So it's an extremely uh, important relationship for us with um, today just over 740 Chinese students. Uh, and 140 of our academic staff. Some of them, of course, working on Chinese subjects, Chinese literature, Chinese history, uh, and so on. But others working right across the board from cancer research to uh, oceanography or, uh, or maths. Um, <clears throat> indeed, I think over a quarter of our mathematicians, undergraduate and postgraduate, are Chinese, which is one of the reasons why Oxford is now quite simply the best place in the world to study mathematics. <laughs>
not something uh, which portrays bias on my part, <laughs> but something which is absolutely true, uh, as they would confirm at Princeton or Cambridge or MIT, uh, if they were honest. <laughs> <laughs> We've started, as you probably know, which is an indication of our commitment to uh, China studies. Uh, we've started a China Centre. Uh, we have generous uh, donations from, from uh, principally Chinese uh, benefactors. Um, but within a couple of years, that will be bricks and mortar, or more likely stone and glass, concrete and glass. <laughs> um, uh, uh, like uh, so many modern buildings, much to the pleasure of Prince of Wales. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to underline how important China is to our present. It's been important to our past since the 17th century when the first Chinese scholar came here. And I think it's going to be even more important to our futures, thanks to uh, people like you and thanks to the generous benefactors uh, of this scholarship. China is clearly going to be one of the main shaping forces in the 21st century, as it has been for most of history. Uh, and we want at this university to be associated as much as possible with that exciting process in which all of you will play a part um, when you return home. But so long as you stay here, you'll be with friends in a community of scholars which is really proud um, to have you uh, in this uh, small Thames Valley resort. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you again to the donors of this scholarship and many thanks to the Warden of Rhodes House for your hospitality today. Uh, but above all, welcome to all of you who have come to Oxford, greatly to our benefit. Um, we should be grateful to you for choosing to spend some of your academic lives with us in Oxford. Helps to make this great international university it is, and we hope that uh, many further generations of young Chinese scholars will follow in your wake. So, thank you very much indeed for the hospitality today, uh, and uh, good luck during your time here. Uh, and don't forget, one of your principal functions is to teach the chefs in every Oxford. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.